ladies and gentlemen, it is almost sep no, wait, it's almost October. It is September. That means it's spooky time. You can already buy pumpkins in the supermarket. My bookshelf is starting to get a little haunted and season two of Ghost Files is airing. So that's already plenty of spooks and I love it. But it wouldn't be a perfect spooky season without some spooky arts and crafts. So from this week on until the very last week of October, there will be one video every week, every Sunday. And by the end of these six weeks, I want to have used six different arts and crafts skills of mine. Six different spooky arts and crafts things. Yes, ghosts and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this week we will be starting with crocheting. Next week is stamp making, after that stained glass. Then I have to look on my list, I don't know what's after that. Painting, then knitting, and last but not least, spooky embroidery. So that's the plan for the next six weeks. And now, more, today's, more to today's project. Yes, crocheting. I found the... Just the best thing ever. I found a, found a crochet pattern for a spooky sweater. And oh my god, I am so obsessed with this. I will show you. I will again show you things on my very unclean iPad instead of just editing in a photo. Hello. Hello. Oh my god. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So that's what we will be making today. I have all the things I need in here. I thought about changing the colors, but then I thought this is already perfect as it is. So why changed? I didn't find the exact wool that was mentioned in the in the instructions. So I just um, got wool well, that looks kind of similar. Mine is, mine, mine is not as bright as the original one, but I love these colors. I think they work well together. This is what I bought. If you leave out the orange, it looks kind of Christmassy, but if you put the orange back and it's it's spooky again so that's really cool and of course, of course some nice crochet hooks i'm so excited i will never take this sweater off again when it's done i love it so much okay let's look at the instructions by the way when i say i know how to crochet i mean that i have like past tense of crochet five times over the past six years maybe so um, i probably have to google how to do every step but that's fine. I want this sweater. I have never wanted anything more in my entire life. Oh, and also I won't show, the, show you the exact process of how the sweater is done because this is not a free pattern. And if you want to make the sweater yourself, you just have to buy the pattern and support the artist. Because honestly, who doesn't want to support someone who creates this absolute masterpiece? So I will link the artist's Etsy shop and Instagram in the description. And... You can find the pattern there. Okay, back to the instructions. And now, okay, no, <laughs> I'm very bad at reading instructions in general. I usually don't read instructions very often. I just skip everything because I, I always, I'm too lazy. But I have to because otherwise I won't know what I will be doing. Okay, I'm looking at a video now because again, I don't know how to read. I don't know how to understand written words. Stitch count 20. I haven't counted my stitches. You were supposed to do that? Okay. Mine does not look like a square. It looks like a circle. But I think, I think that's fine. All right, round two is done and it's, it does not really look like a square, but kind of. If you stretch it out a bit. And I have four granny squares, four orange ones, and this much yarn left from my first yarn thingy. So that means I do have enough yarn because I only need to get four out of one thing. <laughs> and I did. And I still have plenty left. So I think this is all I need. It is currently, it's almost 1 p.m. I started, I think, at maybe 10 a.m. If I continue to speedrun now, I 
might be able to finish this in a week after all. Like with every square I get faster. It, it took me four and now I, I kind of know, know the instructions from the top of my head. So that's nice. I don't have to always pause to read because I know already or already know the next step. So let's let's continue the speed run. Woo. Alright, it is Tuesday, day two. I finished all of the orange granny squares yesterday and I have this much left. I forgot that I still need some orange for the middle granny squares with the pumpkin and ghost and cat on it. Um, I also need orange for the pumpkin and the, the leaves. So I think this isn't enough. I think I need one more orange yarn thingy. And I also think I'm gonna need one more of the, the red. I already bought a little bit more than the instructions said, but I mean, I, this isn't this isn't the exact yarn the instructions um, recommended, and also everyone crochets a bit differently. I think my crochet stitches uh, tend to be a bit more loose, so this isn't the, the instructions for it. But uh, yeah, I think the other colors will be fine because I don't need as many as the orange ones. My plan was initially to finish two colors yesterday. I finished the last one, I think, at nine. PM. Um, but okay, I had to learn how to do it yesterday and I started a bit later than I do today. It's it's 9 a.m. So we got plenty of time. To, I'm also wearing my glasses because my eyes didn't like staring at yarn the entire day. I want to do red next. The plan for today is to finish two colors, maybe red and green. Let's stop talking and start with the next color. All right, day three, and I got about this many granny squares. You can't see all of them, but there are more in there. I finished the red yesterday, so now the orange and red are done, and I almost finished the green. I have in total 14 granny squares left. And that's the last one. Oh my god, I made it. I made it. Oh, they are falling. Over 50 granny squares within two and a half days. My hands are not thanking. But I have done it. Now I need to make four more for multicolored ones with a spooky design on them. In the instructions there are six to choose from. We have a pumpkin, a ghost, a cat, a leaf, a spider and two apples. I definitely want the pumpkin, ghost and cat so that's a must have. So we will start with a pumpkin. Oh, I also I, I didn't buy new orange yarn because I kind of forgot. By the way, the instructions are really nice to look at. They are designed, uh, I like the design of it, it's really cute. I think this is what you were supposed to do. I mean, it is an orange circuit. <laughs> with green on top. I just leave it like that, I think. I think this is what, what the instructions meant. I th my execution wasn't exactly great, but that's that one's on me. Back pain incoming, because I sit like a little goblin on my little chair. What's next? Ghost. I want a ghost. Look at this spooky ghost. It's gonna get its spooky ghost eyes uh, in the end. But for now, it's a snow globe, okay? Spooky thing number two. Number three is gonna be the cat.
now the ears now it's black circle and now the circle is gonna get ears Okay, my dear zero viewers, I now have all the squares and it's now time to assemble. I am on my bed. Oh god, this is oh my god, oh my god. Chaos, chaos, okay, okay. So I just by the way, I just did the knots and then cut off the ends of the yarn. I don't know how to do it better, but it, it doesn't have to look nice. This is the back side. This will be on the inside of the sweater and you won't see it. So that's fine. And now it's time. It's, oh, by the way, my, my ghost kind of looks like an owl. Now I need to put all of these together and I'm so excited. Oh, by the way, I think with granny squares, when working with granny squares, a lot of people stretch these out for some time so that they are all the same size and all nice squares. And I think it's called blocking, but we are not going to do that due to lack of time. So this just has to work. I have now combined all the tiny granny squares into four larger pieces. This took way longer than I expected it would take. Um, it is now Friday, day five. I, I planned to have the sweater completely finished yesterday. I don't, but hopefully today. I'm gonna combine these four large pieces together now and then we already have a sweater, sort of, something you technically could put on. And then only the sleeve cuffs and turtleneck. I have this much red left and it's stressing me out. The granny square part is that. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Look at this. Time for the instructions. What do I need to do next? Oh, this is so confusing. Oh, I really don't know what I'm doing. Oh my god. Due to my incompetence, this is going to take 100 hours. Every single person who actually knows how to crochet is probably crying right now. I present to you a hot dog from Denmark. Okay, yes, I think I'm doing it right now. I think I figured out what I'm supposed to be doing. Thing number one, this is already, this has taken me way too long. I mean, I, I guess I will become a little, little bit faster now that I kind of know what I'm doing. I think this is still going to take very long. Number two, I definitely don't have enough red. I think I, I need to buy at least one more, maybe even two, just to make sure. No, I went in the wrong direction. I was supposed to go in this direction, but I didn't because I held the sweater the wrong way. Turns out I wasn't going in the wrong direction. I just did it completely wrong because I have zero reading comprehension skills. But now, I th now I'm, I'm doing it right. It still doesn't really look like 
the picture, but it's it's close enough. So I'm gonna continue doing this for the next 20 hours and then I'm gonna get back to you. Yeah, it is bed lighting ASMR time again because my battery friends behind me are sleeping already. I have finished the bottom bottom cup and then also the sleeves. Please, please, camera, please focus. You can do it. I believe in you. Yes, there it is. Now, the only thing that I need to do is the turtleneck. And I think that's going to take a very long time. It is now Saturday, almost 8 p.m. I'm very excited because this is so beautiful. I love it. I've said this a million times in this video, but this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And um, yeah, it's almost done and I'm very excited. So I'm going to continue now. It's done. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is this is the most beautiful thing I've ever created. <gasps> what the hell? It's almost done. I still need to get rid of of these guys. And I'm just going to tie silly little knots again and cut off the ends of the yarn because no one can stop me. So I'm going to do that now. And then I can finally wear it. I never take it off. It is almost 11 p.m. Monday and this sweater is officially done. Oh my god, I kind of didn't really do anything else than this. So this this was my life for a week now, but it is so worth it. Oh my god. And now the only thing left to do is to put it on and I'm so excited. Oh my god. I said it before, I will say it again. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. This is it's staying on. This I am not taking this off ever again. Goodbye. And it's so comfortable. It's so big and so comfortable and, oh, and so spooky. Look at the little spooky guys. My ghost that looks like an owl. My cat, pumpkin, and two apples. I'm having the best day of my life. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was complete chaos again, but this is what we do on this channel. Chaos Arts and Crafts. If you want to see more spooky videos, go subscribe, because for the end of September and the entire October, there will be one spooky video every week on this channel so that's very exciting also very scary because i think there will be lots of ghosts and ghosts too scary um <laughs> i don't know what i'm talking about also also go give give some love to the artist who made this design i i i link them in the, in the description also the etsy shop if you want to make this yourself then you can buy the pattern there also go go rate this this spook this spooks on, of the sweater, how spooky this sweater is, uh, on a scale from a, a black cat crossing your path to a ghost haunting your bathroom. Um, how spooky is this? How amazing is this? Go tell me in the comments. And yeah, that's it from me. I will see you next week with some spooky stamps that we will be making. Goodbye.